Hey guys, and welcome back to another one of my videos. So as you saw, Unity 2022 came out for the VR chat, which means that we have a new SDK and now we have to upgrade our Unity projects from Unity 2019 till 2022. Please note that in this video, I am not going to be using the creator companion. I'm going to be doing everything like the old fashioned days. If you're looking for that, then let's get started. So of course, let's head over into our Unity Hub. So we're going to go on an installs. We're going to go install editor. We're going to go archive and then download archive. And here we're searching for Unity 2022.3.6. So Unity 2022. And here it is right here. Unity 22.3.6. And you can do Unity Hub or you can do Windows. But in my case, we're going to do Unity Hub. Allow this to open it and it's gonna boot up your thing. Now, if you remember, you can still select which one of these do you want. For example, if you want to do the Quest avatars, then you can select the Android build. But if you don't care, like in my case, then we can do, you know, like Windows build support or whatever. This is kind of custom and you can basically play around with this. You can take all the Windows just in case. Um, I don't think you need any single one of these with just the top one is fine. And yeah, we just click continue. I have red and red and install. Now this is going to take a little bit because it's Unity. So we're just going to let it do its thing. While that is doing its thing, we're going to go on the official VRChat website. We're going to go over to downloads. We're going to go manual SDK and then avatar SDK right here. So we're going to go download, I understand and download. And we're just going to paste it on our desktop. So we have it saved there. After that is installed, you should now have an installed version here. We can go back onto our project. So now we can create a new project here. So we're just going to name this Unity 2022 and make sure it's at 3D core and then just create a project and now let that do its thing. If a small window pops up, just click I understand and continue. So already we can see that it looks much different, like the loading screen is much different. We have this blobby thing. And as you can see here, it's going to do some things as well. Again, just sit back and let it do its thing. And if any more windows pop up, just allow access. So now when it's booted up, we can already see that it looks completely different. Well, not too different, but you definitely notice the difference. So now let's import the new SDK, which we're going to do manually. So the one we downloaded from the website, you're just going to drag it in the assets and then hit import again. Let it do its thing. After our SDK is imported, let's import our VRChat avatar. If you don't know how to export your previous VRChat avatar as a project, then check out my YouTube video on how to do so. I will leave a link in the description down below. If you see this small window, just press reload and your avatar should be ready to go. Notice as well that this little window popped up. Uh, I got no clue what this is, but you have a few options here that you can mess around with if you want to, but we're just going to close that. So let's open the SDK show control panel. Of course, we have to log in. And after that, let's head to our builder. And as you can see here, the it looks pretty much all the same as uh, the previous SDK. There, not much has changed. The content manager is where your avatars are. The settings, that's all pretty much the same. But now let's go over these few things and few new things that we have here. So the first thing that I noticed is that you can drag your assets all the way down and completely hide them. I don't think that was available or I don't think you could do that back in or well in the previous unity we have few windows here so what these are is basically those little modules that you used to move the stuff around now they are located in this little window here so instead of just being here now they're moved to here which I think that's really nice your center pivot and your global local are now here they're in the same area this little thing grid I not sure what it does uh, and you have your game and you have your asset store. That is pretty much the same. On our top right area, uh, we have we have 2D and we have 3D. So of course, I would advise using 3D. Our light probe is here. Sound is right here. So if you're working with any audio systems or audio meshes and you need to you need to hear them, then I'm pretty sure you can just select this. This I am not sure what it does. In this little window here, we can control the skybox, fog, and a few other stuff. We have a little eye here that I'm not sure what it does. Camera is now here, and you can control it uh, in different kind of ways to either zoom in or out. And we have gizmos right here, which are, is used to either see the dynamic bones or hide them. Now, I would advise detaching this blueprint and then just uploading it on a separate blueprint just to be sure that it doesn't break anything. 
But there you go. We have our new Unity and we'll see how it's going to perform. I think that it's going to be much better now. We'll, we'll see. Anyway, I hope that this video helped you out. Stick around for more future videos coming your way. And if you have some suggestions or questions, leave them down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you around. Peace.